Hey everyone, my name is Rachat. Today we will be talking about Google Fubar and it's a secret hiring platform used by Google and in this video we will be covering each and everything you ever want to know about this. Alright, so in this particular video we will be talking about four things. First of all, what is it? how to trigger the Google FUBAR challenge, how tough is it and does it really get you a job most importantly. Also please watch the video completely because partial information is always bad. So know each and everything before you proceed and try out with this secret hiring platform. Also on successful completion of Google FUBAR I had got the opportunity to refer two of my friends to their Google hiring platform challenge. So watch the end of the video to know more information about how you can participate in that contest. So let's begin with what Google FUBAR is all about. So this is something which works on Google search. Sometimes based on whatever you search on Google, they trigger this curious developers are known to seek interesting problems, solve one from Google and you see that how Google search UI has completely changed. So if you click on I want to play this is how you get started with Google FUBAR and the whole question about how this is triggered will come to it and again guys this is something which is really really weird because not a lot of people used to know about this in fact I know about this just because um, I am an actor I was actually an active member of code forces in which one of the members from Google had shared how to trigger this so that's why I know this I know this for around three years now because I knew this first in 2016 or 2017 so yeah three to four years it has been that I know about such a thing known as Google FUBAR and this is how it gets started wherein you get this welcome screen and it's all in a terminal and we will see more videos and screenshots about how this works so first I'll give you a walkthrough about what this is it has five levels which consist of eight problems okay the recruitment drive or their hiring policy in which they invite you for an interview you are only applicable for that only after level 3 it's again a probability it's not guaranteed that you will be interviewed but even that starts with level 3 and then the problems are based on data structures and algorithms like you can expect something in a hacker rank test when they are hiring and um, I would say the whole idea is pretty similar to competitive programming. You write a solution, there are test cases and your solution is checked or uh, is judged behind those test cases whether it's working or not. As I've said, the whole UI is a terminal on Google's website which is pretty cool. And just to give you an overview of how this works, so this was one of the problems that I was solving which is known as I love Lance Jenis guest. And um, I can edit like this and the solution can only be in two languages python and java once i've written my solution i can write verify solution which runs on test cases sample test cases and it says all test cases passed and now i can submit my solution so once i do that it will tell whether it passes or not so let's wait for that and as you can see a jumping rabbit means you indeed nailed the problem and you can see below it's showing the status out of the five levels i have completed level one with 100 percent so now i can move on to level two and that's how the whole idea revolves around one important thing that i should mention over here is you can only code in two languages they only support python or java so yeah that's what i'm saying watch the entire video before you start with your own google foobar challenge because it's timed and you have certain time limit for every question all right so how do you trigger this i'm sure a lot of people have idea about uh, i mean they have curiosity on how to trigger this and google says that it's based on their search patterns and all those things but it's a very simple hack actually to trigger it you can search any coding related term multiple times and there are two more steps the fourth step is you keep doing step three and step five is yes you have to just code i mean you have to just search the coding related term multiple times for example i'll just show you an example of how to trigger this and i did this i think a week back so list comprehension is a very i would say classy feature of python so i you copied the url and pasted it in multiple tabs like one two let me open another one three tabs four tabs i will just keep on doing this let me do this i think um 
let's say 15 times so I will do this 15 times and only then I will stop okay so as you are seeing this is normal Google search UI you are searching for something it's showing links and all those things but you have to keep doing that you have to have patience at least give this two minutes of constant searching I would say and as you will see in about 10 seconds we will be seeing the Google famous foobar UI ah there is it so curious developers as, as I'm saying you have to give it time but it does happen and once you have opened like 20 15 tabs just circle amongst them and see maybe there are three or four tabs in which the Google foobar challenge had actually initiated so yeah that's how you have to trigger I don't know of any other nicer way than this I think it's pretty straightforward and let me know in comments what do you think about that or if you have any other tips on this talking about how tough is it I would say the first three levels are pretty standard not very difficult but again they need you to be a good problem solver if you have to solve them level four and five are I would say where things really get difficult and for the fifth problem it was based on probability and trust me I had to google about this it was really very very tough and even then I had to do a lot of studying about Markov's chain but the thing is I really enjoy problem solving it might not be the case with you so don't waste a lot of your time because after level 3 a google recruiter might reach out to you so we'll cover about that but that's what I'm saying like the level 4 and 5 may be really extreme and you should only do them if you really enjoy problem solving so now at this point what I want to do is quickly share what happens after each level with you so these are my screenshots um, so for example when I completed level 2 the Google foobar community basically threw this message in which they gave me a special link for which um, I can refer a friend so that's what happens when you complete level 2 you get a referral link and again I have two referral links which one of you can which two of you can win and the rules for that will be in the later section of the video so yeah stick around then uh, after completing level 3 this is something which you should wait for and at least you should do the first three levels because now it's the time where they say that Google recruiter might reach out to you may reach out to you regarding career opportunities we will use your information based on this this policy privacy do you wish to proceed and this is the place where you say yes and then probably you enter the information they are asking um, and this is where Google foobar community has recorded that you have cleared the first three levels and they probably will reach out to you again we will cover in bit of details how successful that idea may sound like and do they really reach out to you but yeah this is what their website claims right now so once you have completed the level 4 as well you get the second referral link for your friends so now you are at the point where you can refer two friends to try out this really secretive Google foobar challenge and once you have completed all the five solutions or I mean all five levels you finally get three rabbits and some encrypted text again I have hidden that but um, this is how it looks like and they say that do you want uh, us to notify you when there are new challenges and all those things so yeah this is the whole idea and whole story of Google foobar and talking about does it really get you a job I mean can it get you interviews it can and the thing is there are a lot of rumors on internet about Google foobar about so many people saying that they have completed all the solutions all levels but they were not contacted from Google now I would here like to point out that a lot of solutions to Google foobar have already been released so I'm not sure whether Google does this plagiarism checking where they are checking what you are submitting is actually your code or not so maybe a lot of people fail over there I'm not sure about that but I finally also heard about a true genuine story from Brian Lamb which has a website and this is a screenshot from that wherein he talks about how he got hired from Google's foobar challenge and he has a blog post about that I will put the video uh, I mean I will put the link to this blog in description but in the, his blog he mentioned that he actually checked his mail constantly over two months but there was no response so yes it might look very upsetting and disheartening for a lot of people who were having the hope of um, getting a shot at Google but 
it might be the case that you might not be contacted ever or probably it takes a lot of time for this guy it actually took seven months which is again very weird that a google recruiter um, reached out to him after seven months um, and they basically started his interviews just to make sure that this was not some fake post i actually checked this guy out on linkedin as well and he actually uh, we both worked at microsoft and he has joined Google in October 2018, which means around one and a half year back. So yeah, even now Google Fubar might seem to work, I would say. And better than this, if you really just want to get a shot at interviewing at Google, I would say referrals are the place to go. But I think this Google Fubar hiring is very secretive and we still don't know a lot of things about it. But I would say if you are a problem solver, you would definitely love enjoying solving these problems. And coming to that, I have two referral links. And if you want a referral, all you have to do is comment, comment interested followed by your Instagram ID. For my case, it's Rachita ITR. Use your Instagram ID, of course, because um, out of the first hundred comments, um, the two random people are going to win this and winner will be contacted on their Instagram IDs. So yeah, that's what you have to do. And if you want to reach out to me, these are my social profiles. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The handle is same, Rachid ITR. And that's all I had for this video, guys. I hope this was helpful and you had a brief journey with me on Google Fubar. I really enjoyed solving the problems and as I'm saying, if you really enjoy problem solving, you should definitely try this out. It's a very different experience, unique experience, I would say. And let me know in comments what are your ideas and what was your experience with Google Fubar. I will see you in the next one, guys. Till then, bye-bye. Happy coding. Stay safe.